Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to connect the ICXC0436 wireless digital weather station to Wi-Fi and Weather Underground. For this, your weather station should already be powered up and communicating with the indoor console. If you are unsure of how to do this, see the links for setup videos in the video description. To start, open a web browser and navigate to wonderground.com. If it is your first time using this platform, you will need to create an account. To do this, click Join. Enter your email and follow the prompts to sign up for free. Once sign up is complete, or if you're an existing user, enter your email and password then click Sign In. Click My Profile, then My Devices in the top right corner. Click Add New Device. Under Personal Weather Station, click the drop down box and scroll to the bottom. Select Other. Click Next. Enter your device location. You can either enter an address or find it on the map. Once selected, click Next. Complete the remaining information, including entering a name for your device. Select a ground surface type for your station from the drop down box, this is optional. Enter an elevation, this is usually pre filled based on the entered address. If not, you can find this information through Google Maps. If you have a webcam set up, you can select that here. Device hardware, this has already been selected in the previous step, but can be adjusted if required. And last of all, you can add a height above ground for your station. Accept the privacy terms and click Next. Your personal weather station ID and station key have been generated. Write these down or keep this web page open. You will need these credentials for your station connection. On the weather station now, start with the indoor console powered off. When you power it back up, you will need to press the sensor Wi-Fi button on the back for 6 seconds or until the LCD shows both AP and the Wi-Fi icon blinking on the screen. This signifies that the unit is in access point mode and is ready for Wi-Fi connection. Back on your computer or phone browser, you need to connect to the console through Wi-Fi. Go to your Wi-Fi network settings and find the Wi-Fi given off by the console. This will be called PWS followed by several numbers and letters. Click connect and wait several seconds as it connects. At this stage it's normal to receive a no internet warning. You can ignore this. When connected, open a new browser and type 192.168.1.1. If the browser is treating this as a web search, type in the entire address. On this page, you can set up the server connection. Enter your router, that is your home or work Wi-Fi you would like to connect your station to. If it does not appear on the drop-down list, click search. Enter your Wi-Fi password. Ensure the checkbox next to where the underground is selected, then enter the station ID and key, which was created earlier. A common issue found when setting up Weather Underground is confusion between the letter O and number 0 and the letter I and number 1 with the station ID and key. So where possible, try and copy and paste the digits across. For this example, we are only setting up Weather Underground, so we'll deselect the Weather Cloud checkbox. Click Next. Returning to the console, we can see the Wi-Fi symbol remains and is no longer blinking. This indicates that the console is connected to your Wi-Fi router. The small sync icon just above the Wi-Fi symbol indicates that the clock is connected to your selected time server. After a few minutes have passed to allow the device to upload data, return to Weather Underground, go to My Profile, then My Devices. The setup device will now appear here with the name, location, status, ID, key, type and management options. Clicking on the name of the device enters into the station summary and data view. The first time you enter into station summary, your results may be in imperial measurements. To set this to metric, go to the settings icon in the top right and click the degrees Celsius icon. The display will update automatically. Here we see the station status and last update time. An overview of the current conditions, location on a map along with other Wonder Map users' information, 
and a further breakdown of your weather station's current conditions. And that's how to connect the IC XC0436 wireless digital weather station to Wi-Fi and Weather Underground. For more information on this station, or if you need a hand setting your station up, contact an Instrument Choice Scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.